Hi everyone, I decided to do something different in my crafting. I'm going to start a creative journal where I'm going to jot down my ideas and stuff. But most of the journals that you see outside are very boring and not very pretty. So I decided to do something that makes me happy. So I'm going to start a journal and I'm going to share the pages with you guys. For my first, first pages I'm going to share, I'm starting with some pattern paper from the family paper pad from Little Yellow Bicycle and I've chosen two blues and some browns and I've covered the two pages already and I'm going to and I'm using this piece of brown to make a pocket and in that pocket I'm going to store um, the papers that I use to write my thoughts and whatever else I want to store in the pocket but I wanted to make the pages happy and and pretty so I'm going to fill the pages with things that makes me happy. That way while I'm writing, I'm looking at this, um, these pretty pages. And it's going to bring positive thoughts and be wonderful. So to make the pocket more sturdy, I just add two brads at the top. To make um, sliding papers in and out more easier. And the back of this is going to be covered by another page in the future. So I will cover the brads. The back of the brands up. So we're gonna start decorating my pages. Um, that butterfly pattern you see on the other, this second page is not gonna be used. I first punched the, some grass out using my Fiskars grass sponge, and I'm gonna use my peeled. Peel paint distress ink to add some more dimension to my grass and it's gonna go like so as you can see I added another piece of brown cardstock on the left side and now I'm going to use this die from memory box and it's called grand oak tree um, I love this die so much so I wanted to use it on my first page I also added some grass onto the right side of the page and I used my Smoky Sky Distress Ink to distress the edge of the blue cardstock a little. And I wanted some sunshine on my page so I used Daffodil Delight Ink Pad from Stamping Up. And I'm going to stamp, um, use this stamp set from CC Designs, it's Sunshine and Cloudy Day. And I stamped my sun like so. Then I decided it was a little too on the quiet side. So I cut some yellow cardstock using my, my 3 quarter inch circle punch. And just punch a circle and I just use the daffodil delight thing pad again and just stamp some of the daffodil on it to bring the yellow down a little and I love my sunshine and I wanted to make the papers that I'm going to be writing on pretty also so I cut some green cardstock and I used the monarch butterfly punch from Martha Stewart and I just added them in one of the corners and then I used the butterfly scallop border punch and punch it also in blue and add it to the top of each page for this one I just cut two pages but you can always add because you might have more things you want to write and as you can see I love butterflies so I use these two butterfly dies from memory box and I made these cute little butterflies I'm gonna add one to the top of the largest page like so these butterflies are so pretty and the names of the dies are 
Pippi Butterfly and Isabel Butterfly. And then this is going to be my favorite part. I use the MFT Dynamics die set. It's called Layered Rose. And I created these pretty blue flowers, which I'm going to arrange on my pages. And they came out very pretty, I thought. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm trying to, do it to figure out what arrangement I want with the flowers. So, let's see. I also use this um, cloud punch from Fiskars. And I just cut one cloud and I'm going to glue it to the left of my sheet. And I think these clouds are so cute. They have different sizes in this punch, but I only have the medium size. And I'm just going to glue it like so. I finally decided on the arrangement and I'm going to add my large flower like so. And this one I actually added some leaves. And the, the leaves came from the Upsy, Upsy Daisy die set from MFT also. And then I'm going to arrange the flowers. Oops. Still struggling. <sighs> okay. I finally decided to just lay them together. And this is what they looked like. And then I added one another one of my butterflies at the corner of the brown area. And for this sentiment on the page, I wanted to put something, a sentiment on each page that's going to motivate me. Or maybe one of my favorite sayings or quotes. So my motivation for this page says, our quote says, dream until your dreams come true. Then I added another butterfly to the left side of my pages. And I love blues and browns and greens together. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to add here my my sentimental quote then I use my Martha Stewart butterfly trio punch and I cut some little butterflies in different colors I did I think red yellow and light purple and I just put them around my tree just to add a little color and I thought it was so cute and every time I look at this page it's gonna make me happy I know it is all my favorite things are on the pages butterflies flowers just nature I love it Then I decided to add another one of my flower and I added just below my um, saying or quote. I'm going to start writing in my journal and just looking at the page makes me happy right now. So I want to thank you guys for watching and hope you watch future pages. Bye.